Hello, I'm Daniel Terry, Director of ePortfolio at Texas Christian University, and welcome to Frogfolio. Why ePortfolios? An ePortfolio can help you deepen your learning and connect the dots between the different kinds of learning experiences that you'll have in college. And we also know that an ePortfolio is a great way to make your knowledge, skills, and experiences visible to others. Before our time is up, you should have a good grasp of what a portfolio is, why it's beneficial, and how to begin building your own portfolio. So let's get started. An ePortfolio, or as we call it, Frogfolio, is an online portfolio that contains evidence of your learning as a student, as well as examples of ways in which you've applied that learning. Frogfolio functions like a website by creating an online space for you to tell the story of who you are as a learner, your knowledge, skills, competencies, and experiences, and your capacity to reflect upon all of these as evidenced by the writings, media, and other artifacts or examples of your learning that you choose to add to your portfolio. Creating a Frogfolio enables you to organize, document, and display your most significant learning experiences all in one place. Similar to how a scrapbook helps you remember the details of a trip, Frogfolio will help you remember, use, and more deeply understand things that you've learned along the way. And it's accessible anywhere, anytime, with a computer. Because it is online, your Frogfolio can be shared with many audiences from faculty and staff, to family, to peers, or to potential employers or graduate schools. And by viewing your Frogfolio, those audiences will get a sense of who you are as a learner. To be a learner in the world is to explore the meaning of what we experience and then reconsider who we are and what we know in light of that experience. Through this process, insight and understanding emerges. This is how we learn. Having a space like your Frogfolio to reconsider what you learn and experience during college, to reflect on where you've been, assess where you are, and imagine where you're going while documenting knowledge and skills gained along the way, that is a tremendous learning opportunity. And as well, building your reputation online and representing your learning and abilities well is an important professional skill. I recently talked to a TCU senior about what was most helpful in building her portfolio. And she said, now I'm much more aware of what I know and why it's important to me. This has made me more capable of talking with people at a deep level about my education. And I can easily show them examples of my best work to support what I'm telling them. But don't take her word for it or my word for it. Let's hear what other students are saying about Frogfolio. Frogfolio to me is an opportunity for reflective learning. It's an opportunity to look back at what I've done and see how much I've grown and developed. It's an opportunity to see how my inside and outside the classroom experiences connect to the TCU mission statement. I see a value centers education uh, developing as I look back at my ePortfolio. I see an eclectic group of classes in a liberal arts education every semester coming together. And I see Frogfolio being that opportunity to tie it all together. The Frogfolio has been most helpful to me so far by giving me a place where I can actually journal and actually reflect on what I've done. Um, instead of just having those experiences and forgetting about them and the impact that they had on me, I'm able to link them both to the TCU mission statement and also my personal development as a leader and as a TCU student. One thing I would say that helps motivate students with their Frogfolio is the experiences and opportunities you can gain through having it. Um, you can not only utilize these in classes and through professors, but once you can show these to potential employers, you'll be really encouraged to help um, keep adding information and updating it as you're starting to look for jobs. It will become even more important and it's nice to be able to look back on your experiences all the way from freshman year 
you don't want to just have a little bit of information crammed in at the end. It's really nice to have an overview over time of information that you can look back on your college experience and really show a diverse display of information that you've learned. So a year ago when I started my frog flow to now, my portfolio has gone through a tremendous change. It's gotten so much better. There's so much more depth and brevity to it and such a wide range of experiences from my classes to my study abroad experiences. I don't know, you know where else I would have a place to put all that down and remember it by if I didn't have my frog folio. Creating two frog folios has also really helped me because I have one um, frog folio that really displays my personality with lots mm. of color and videos and pictures. And I have also developed a more professional frog folio that might be more um, useful to show to potential employers and professors that shows my professional side and accomplishments as well. Yeah. And it's also been nice that I can link certain things from both of my frog folios. You had mentioned your study abroad. I put my study abroad on both frog folios, but on some I only put mm -hmm. fun things and on other things I only put professional yeah, things. I never thought about making two frog folios for that. Where did you kind of get that idea? Well, one day I was looking through and I decided that I wanted a lot of color on mine. So mm -hmm. I just decided to play around with the new tools and customizations that I had found and create a new e-portfolio for a more fun site that could express myself better.